Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 35, verses 1 through 3. Psalm chapter 35, verse 1 through 3. It says, plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield, shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, what a wonderful word today. This is really, um, really, we know that the, we don't war against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities of darkness and spiritual places, but they use people as well. So if people aren't walking with Christ, then they're being used by the enemy. Even God's children can be if we open have open doors. And so whether it's people or whether it's spirits, we can truly look at this psalm and see how God wants us to respond to our persecution and, and the way people are, the way we're being treated, let's put it that way. So instead of repeating, I'm just going to read the entire psalm because I think it's so powerful and uh, really helps us see uh, what God is looking for in us. Praise the Lord. The, uh, the, Intro is the Lord, the avenger of his people, a psalm of David. So we know that David was a man after God's own heart. So if we want to know God's heart for his children, we can look at David in this psalm and see how he wants us to deal with adversity as well. So let this psalm be ours today. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Verse 1. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me fight against those who fight against me. Notice it's not, I'm going to fight against them. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net from me, for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon them unexpectedly, and let this, his net that he has hidden catch himself into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and needy from him who plunders him. Can we say that? Or are we still going on our own strength? Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good to, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. Remember, Jesus told us to pray for those who persecute us and be good to those who are, treat us spitefully. That's what God wants from us, as he did in David. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavenly as one who mourns for his mother, heavily, as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feast, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies, nor let, my, let them wink with the eye to hate me without a cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. See that? 
the the meek, the quiet ones. We had a sermon from Pastor Nike recently about the meek, blessed are the meek. This is what God is looking for, what God is going to do in us if we're not already there. They also opened their mouth wide against me and said, aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we would have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I pray that we can all see that, you know, we all have flesh and we tend to fight our own battles. And God will let us wear ourselves out doing that until we come to the place where we recognize that God just wants us to keep our eyes on him like little children and he'll fight our battles. He, he, he truly rewards those who put the battle in his hand. He does fight for those who trust in him. We focus on him. We praise him and we ask him to fight our battles. And uh, he does. Praise the Lord. He will. Recently, we had a, a, a warning of uh, some, uh, uh, you know, maybe some type of uh, deceitful attack on, on this church and we gave it to the lord and we don't fight anything we just trust him and he is going to have the victory and we can rest in that praise the lord so heavenly father we thank you for this word today we ask you to create in us a heart like david's like a heart after your own heart one that um truly understands that the fighting all these works of darkness on our own strength is not going to accomplish anything, but turning to you and trusting in you to fight our battles is the answer. And so give us the faith to believe it. You're the author and finisher of our faith and help us just be like that, Lord. Help us remember this psalm when the battle arises and then we can just praise you and thank you for the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.